My name is Sankaran Mahadevan. I am uh, the John R. Murray Senior Professor of Engineering here at Vanderbilt. Work on uh, optimization under uncertainty, uh, which has been uh, quite strongly funded by NASA over many years and also by GM uh, and uh, several other agencies, uh, has looked at both uh, structural optimization, meaning uh, structural systems, whether it is uh, for uh, civil structures or uh, mechanical uh, components like the design of uh, the door for a car. Um, or uh, aerospace systems, we have uh, done a lot of work on conceptual design of uh, reusable launch vehicles and two stage to orbit uh, vehicles and uh, a conceptual vehicle called a fire satellite and so on. Uh, so in all of these cases, uh, we are concerned about uh, optimizing the design of the system under a variety of uh, uh, sources of uncertainty the uncertainty can come from either just natural variability, uh, where things naturally vary from uh, space, on, uh, vary across space or a long time, uh, or across samples. But there is also data uncertainty because there is in many cases very limited data or there is expert opinion uh, or qualitative data and data errors and so on. And then there is of course model uncertainty. Uh, a lot of these are based on computational models which are approximate and with a lot of assumptions so there is also uncertainty brought by those so when you make decisions uh, under all these uncertainties how confident are you so how to account for that uncertainty in your optimization this is a current focus for us and uh, we are particularly uh, focused on uh, aircraft, uh, especially wing design optimization. Sirisha Rangavajala had recently led this effort uh, here and uh, also uh, Chen Liang, uh, who is a current PhD student, is working on this problem of uh, design optimization under uncertainty for uh, airframe uh, components. And uh, we also have worked heavily on uh, not just uh, individual disciplinary optimization but also multidisciplinary optimization and also what are called systems of systems where you have multiple systems interacting with each other and even human beings interacting with these systems and what happens is you have lots of different decision makers not just one central decision maker so how do you uh, optimize the systems policies and operations under this kind of distributed environment and so we have uh, particularly focused on uh, transportation systems and also looking at uh, system architecture uh, selection for uh, satellite uh, type systems. Uh, we had uh, Mark McDonald uh, who did his PhD in this area followed by Doug McInvale uh, who focused on transportation networks and one of our current students who is about to defend his dissertation, Quentin Noriega, also worked on uh, this issue of uh, uh, multimodal transportation network uh, design optimization under uncertainty. And we also have uh, work going on on payment uh, design optimization. Our current student uh, Jennifer Rutherford uh, has uh, just finished her dissertation on uh, this topic of uh, efficient methods for design optimization of payments under uncertainty. Uh, now, uh, this optimization under uncertainty is a much bigger topic. It's not just a design at the beginning of the system, but also there are decisions being made throughout the life of the system. So we have also uh, done a lot of work on uh, these various decision-making uh, issues, like for example, uh, resource allocation. Uh, even when you are developing the system, whether you are developing models uh, or uh, design, uh, you want to decide where to invest your money. Should I put more money into modeling or should I put more money into data collection like say experiments or tests? Uh, obviously, uh, you have to look at the cost versus benefit and all these different decisions. And so we have uh, more recently 
uh, been working with the NASA JPL on this resource allocation uh, techniques where we use Bayesian networks to connect all the different uh, source of information uh, about the system. And this is a multi-level system. Uh, you're going all the way from material to component to subsystem to system. And uh, obviously, you want to do as many full-scale system tests as possible, but of course, uh, your budget is very limited, so that's usually not possible. So you want to decide where to put your testing dollars. So we have uh, done a demonstration of this technique with the space telescope problem. And our uh, student, uh, Kyle McLemore, has just uh, finished a master's thesis on this topic. Uh, in, this was in collaboration with the Jet Propulsion La uh, Laboratory. And uh, so now we are extending this work to also simulation uh, resource allocation. Uh, our current student, Josh Mullins, is uh, looking at how to quantify the costs and benefits in various types of modeling procedures and where to invest uh, the limited budget uh, resources into the various activities. Uh, then there are other uh, decisions that are made, uh, for example, uh, inspection, uh, how often to inspect, and uh, what quality of inspection uh, should, we need, should we have, should it be very high fidelity, or can we get away with low fidelity inspections in some cases, and uh, what level of maintenance to do, and also if the system is uh, found to be somewhat degraded, uh, at what level to operate it? Should I operate it at, uh, let's say, full speed or maybe at a lower speed or maybe fly it at a lower uh, uh, altitude and so on? So uh, operational decision making. So we are uh, developing this technique of uh, decision making under uncertainty in a very uh, general form and applying it to a variety of decision making problems all the way from uh, uh, concept development and design to uh, uh, life cycle engineering and uh, operational decision making and also logistics regarding risk management of the system. Mm -hmm.